Hello, how are you all today? I'm Lenny. And I'm Ben. And, and welcome, welcome to Playhouse. We have an exciting show today for you guys. We're going to be singing and dancing. And reading stories. But first, we're going to be making these little guys. Sock puppets. So the one that I've got here is a dog. It's brilliant. Let's get started. So to make these sorts of puppets at home, you're going to need something that you probably wear on your feet every single day. Every day. Mm. Can you guess what it is? That's right. Socks. To decorate your puppet pal, you'll also need some extras. Which we've all got here. We've got some googly eyes. Some pipe cleaners. And some glue. But you guys at home can use whatever you want. So, to start off making your sock puppet, you need to choose what colour sock you want to use. So today, I'm going to use this creamy coloured sock. That's beautiful. Well, I'm going to use a dark blue. Wow, that's really dark. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? It is. So, the next step is you want to put the sock on your hand. But make sure, boys and girls, that the heel faces the ceiling. And the second thing you need to do with your sock is to press the toe into your, between your fingers and your thumb to create a mouth so your sock puppet friends can talk to each other. That's so clever, Ben. I know. Hello there, lad. Hello. <laughs> so the next step is to apply some googly eyes to make sure that your sock puppet can see. That's a good idea, Eleni. Which ones are you going to choose, Ben? I think that I'll choose one small one and one bigger one to make it look like it's a really crazy guy. That's crazy. Well, what are you going to use? Gonna use some girly eyes with a little bit of blue eyeshadow. Oh wow, she looked really pretty with them on, I she? think so. So the first thing you need to do to make sure that your eyes stick onto your sock is just get some glue, dab some on the back of your eyes. Not your own eyes, obviously, these <laughs> eyes. And then just pop it onto the sock, but make sure it sticks down really, really firm. That's brilliant, Ben. Oh, he looks really funny with the two different sized eyes. <laughs> oh, she looks pretty already. What do you think, guys? Oh, wow. It looks great. Hello. So, the next step is you can add your own decoration to make your sock puppet special for yourself. Yeah, I think that I'm going to use one of these bubbles to give it a nose so that he can smell. That's a brilliant idea. Well, my girly girl is going to have some hair. Oh, she'll look really pretty with that hair, yes, won't she? Yes, it's like blonde curly locks. I suppose you could say it's similar to mine, isn't it? It really we can is. Match. That's brilliant. You're going to look like twins. Oh, I hope so. I think she's a bit prettier, though. Oh, that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's put some hair on What her. else should I put onto my sock puppet? Ah, oh, this looks brilliant. Right, so what's next? I think I'm going to put on some ears to make him be able to hear me when I'm talking to him. That's a brilliant idea. So I'm just going to get some paper and get the scissors, but carefully using these scissors, I'm going to cut off the corner of some paper, but I can't do it with my sock on, that's silly Ben. <laughs> so cut off the corner of the paper, just a little triangle, and do that twice, and then attach some glue onto the end, so that it'll stick onto the sock. That and looks amazing, Ben. Pop. Well, I'm going to get one of these little red cleaners and I'm going to cut it in half and make some lips for my girl. That's a good idea. Thank you. Just make sure that whenever you're using scissors at home, you use it with a parent or an adult supervision because you don't want to hurt yourself, do you? Exactly, I agree. What does he look like now when he's got his ears on? Let me see. And, oh, he looks really cool. And his nose is falling off. That's not good, is it? Come on, Trevor. What are you doing? 
There we go. And here's Ooh. my girly girl with her Ooh. red lips. Oh, wow, she looks really pretty. What are you going to call does... her? I'm going to call you Penelope. Oh, hello, Penelope. Because she's a princess. Hello there. I'm Trevor. Trevor. What have you got planned for today? I'm going to go to my castle shopping. Wow, can I come as well? Penelope actually has her own shopping mall in her castle. That's, that's what a princess she's she really is. She's really rich. <laughs> Let's go to your castle. Oh, these look great, Eleni. Oh, they do, Ben. Do you know what else looks great, though? What's that? Well, the pictures that our good friends have been sending to us from home. Yeah, we've got this picture from Alfie, aged eight, who's drawn a policeman, because when he wants to grow up, that's what he wants to be, a policeman. Wow, that's brilliant, Alfie. Yeah. And next, we've got Sophie, aged seven, and she's drawn her teacher at school, doing the alphabet with her. Nice work, Sophie. Wow, Sophie, I hope you're staying doing very well at school. And now we've got Rosie, age five, who's drawn a beautiful fairy princess with a really pretty pink dress. And finally, we've got Luca, age six, who's drawn his dad standing up tall with a big green coat. Wow, they were amazing. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to clean this stuff up. Mm. So we're gonna give you guys at home a break. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. What and are you doing, Ben? I'm just singing a song that we learned the other day. Oh, yes. That was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Would you guys at home like to learn the song too? You would? OK, then here we go. Hi, guys. And now we're going to learn a dance called Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. Have you ever done it before? Well, that's fine, because here's April to help us. Hey, I'm April, and I'm going to show you how to do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Well, can you find your head, shoulders, knees, or your toes? OK, so this is your head. These are your shoulders. These are your knees. And these are your toes. You try it at home. OK, guys, let's get started. So first, let's touch our heads. Great, OK, now your shoulders. And now your knees. OK, guys, not each other's knees, your own knees. Oh. <laughs> OK. Good, OK, now your toes. Awesome, let's put all of that together. OK, heads, shoulders, knees and toes. Awesome, do you want to try the next part? It goes... Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. So, touch your eyes and your ears and your mouth and finally your nose. Should we try it all together now? Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth. Oh, wow, that was so much fun. I agree. Did you guys have fun learning that at home? You did? Great. Oh, I don't know about you, Eleni, but all that dancing has made me really tired. I know, Ben. I think it's time for a story. OK, well, let's go over to Story Corner with Sammy. Hello, boys and girls. Are you ready for an adventure? Well, I hope so, because today we're going on a Bear hunt! We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. 
grass, long, wavy grass. Well, we can't go over it and we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a river, a deep, cold river. We can't go over it and we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Splish, splash, splish, splosh, splish, splash. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, mud, thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it and we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Squelch, 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 squelch. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a forest, a big, dark forest. We can't go over it and we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a snowstorm, a swirling, whirling snowstorm. Well, we can't go over it and we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a cave, a narrow, gloomy cave. Well, we can't go over it and we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. What's that? One shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, two big goggly eyes. It's a bear. Quick, back through the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the snowstorm. Back through the forest. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Back through the mud. Squelch, 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 squelch. Back through the river, splash, 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 splash. Back through the swishy, swishy, swashy, swashy, swashy. Get out the front door, open the door, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Back down the stairs, shut the door, back up the stairs, into the bedroom, into the bed, under the covers. We're not going on a bear hunt again. The end, phew. I hope you enjoyed story time. Well, I know I did. How about you, Ben? Yes, but that bear was a bit scary. So scary. I'm glad they got home safely. Me too. But sadly, that's all we have time for today. So we'll see you again another day. On, On Playhouse. Playhouse. Bye bye. bye, -bye.